Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV. And today I get the opportunity to show you a brand new look at the 2024, the tried and true 26 DBH. Uh, so we'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside, show you some of the new features that they've added. Uh, I think they're pretty great, so I'm excited to show you. So uh, we'll get you up front here. Like I always, you got your rock guard right down front. Nice new white look to it, a little brighter here. You got your power tongue jack. Uh, two 20 pound LP tanks that we will fill for you here. What they did was they took away the battery. So if you guys have been seeing these with battery and battery boxes on there, they've taken those away. Um, but we will add one of those in the deal here at Bullion. So it comes with a battery and battery box through us and not through Forest River anymore. One of the newer changes as well is going to be the Furion on-demand hot water heater. So that's going to be really nice for you guys. Also, this camper half-ton towable coming in about 6,000 pounds, 6,100 pounds dry weight. So great for the family, great for a crew. Things are going to sleep like 10 people. So we'll keep moving. You got your low point drain uh, right down here, cable hookups. They've also gave you a little more of an upgraded um, stabilizer system. Little chains on here in case it were to fail and drop. You guys don't have to worry about it hitting the ground. So a little upgrade there on those Lippert guys, other than just the scissor jacks for you. One really nice big slide box on here. Notice these windows kind of got that mirrored look to them too. So it's gonna be harder for folks to see in and you can still see out, gonna have a little tint to them to keep that sun out, to keep the heat down as well. Right here on the back, you got your water station. You got a nice convenience light back here. Fresh water, city water connections, a hot and cold shower. So again, if you're with the crew, you got the kids, you got the bikes, you got the dogs. On the back side of the camper, you can leave the puddle, wash them on down here before they head in there and get that place all filthy. So just a nice little precautionary step to kind of hit that. Some nice storage up under the bunk system here. Outdoor storage. Oh, another nice thing that they've kind of added. Uh, I know you guys noticed with the gray wolves and stuff. Now they've added magnets to it instead of just a little plastic clip. So slamish, you know, your biggest doors all have magnets. So again, with the crew, the kids always are popping those off. You got to pack it inside that you've probably always run out of magnets. Now, another new upgrade. They've added a ladder prep. So another Lippert ladder, just collapsible ladder. We sell them here at Bullion. So ladder prep to get you up to the roof no more have to carry a big ladder or trying to find a spot to put it ladder prep is great comes with a backup camera on here already as well qr code to that with your phone turns into the screen so that's on board for you full spare tire with a tire cover a rack for any extra gear coolers generator depending on where you're going nice rack back here for you as well come around the campsite the fun side where all the things happen you got a latch for your buddy, your best friend, lock down the bikes, those drunk husbands that walk away at the campsite, 1,500 pound capacity, that's not going anywhere, really like that. Here's a stair right into the bathroom, so running in and not tracking through the whole camper, bringing dirt, so like that, you can just pop in the bathroom, pop back out. Um, these are also on a friction hinge. This door does miss the awning, so that's great. You also got your black tank flush right behind that as well. Speakers, spot to put a TV if you'd like, power outlets, cable plug-ins, so turn this into a nice little outdoor entertainment space, your favorite game, your favorite show, favorite movie, Under the Stars. You could definitely do that out here. It is football season, so just put the game on. You got your outdoor kitchen, you got your speakers. It's a great place to go out and enjoy it with your friends. Um... Something small, but kind of neat. If you are towing it around, you got these little tire pressure monitors. Uh, they won't tell you what pressure's in there, but kind of just take it off a little bit so you can see. Turns red, that's just gonna tell you that you're gonna need air. So if you stop to get gas, uh, stop for anything, just take a quick peek at that. That's kind of a nice, just quick, easy check on it um, to see if you guys need some air. Outdoor kitchen, like I said, you got your ice maker on board all the time. Again, you have hot and cold water out here, so be able to just fill that up, spray your stuff off. Nice little fridge. This is kind of a unique deal. Uh, you got a flat top, but great for pancakes, bacon, hash browns, all that stuff in the morning. Also, you can pop this off and it looks like, I mean, I'd use it, maybe throw some burgers or dogs or something on that grill. So really multi-purpose. And then you got these small little side spots to put your utensils or things like that that you're cooking with. So I really like that extra feature there too. 
This was up front, so we're gonna put it back in the storage. And again, that big pass-through storage here is where that guy was living. Solid step stairs on the front. Another friction hinge door. Little lights on here, you can't see them now, but little kind of logo lights are gonna shine to the ground. Kind of a neat little touch. We'll head in. We got the nice grab handle as you walk in. Also notice the nice blue LED lights under the awning. Right as you come in, the chair keys, they went back to just your touch panel or your uh, traditional buttons here. On and out, slide, lights, all that kind of stuff right there. Check all your tanks, all that stuff up top. So a new look now is this really cool backsplash um, to where the TV sits and your whole fireplace set up. So they added this little shelf in here. So you can kick some shoes under it, maybe put some shoes on top. Your nice fireplace, your sound system. So I really like this new nice white pop look to it. You can see we got the blue party lights on right now. You can turn those off, but they do light up. Like the subwoofer, the speakers, and then this blue light under here. A um, Couple other new changes. Color of the cushions. Those feel a little more durable as well. Um, the colors of the trim pieces. Let me see. You still got the zebra shades. So zebra shades are still here. Um, the cabinets up above in the kitchen space here, they gave you a few more cabinets. They have this kind of like mesh look so you can see through them. So that's a little different. The hand pulls are a little different, really like that. One of the big changes they've done is taken away your oven. So I just saw this morning, took away the oven, put your convection microwave down here and that exposes all that extra storage up top. So um, we got that going on. Good storage under the sink. Another change they've done is throws you through a nice little small garbage can and a spot to keep that. It's always nice to find a spot where a garbage can is going to go. You got a spot right there for you. 12 volt fridge and freezer are still a thing. We plugged this camper in 10, 12 minutes ago. Got things lit up. The freezer is already starting to get cold, so that's going to be great for you guys. Kind of kicking out late after work on a Friday, trying to get stuff in here, set it up. By the time you guys are hitting the road, this guy's going to be cold, which is awesome. Still keeping the big storage drawers under this dinette table here. I like that those always pull all the way out. You're not going to lose anything. And they are locked down, so you got to give them a little pull up and out. So like I said, this thing sleeps a crew, so... The futon is going to jackknife sofa down to a sleeper. You got a little bit of storage up under there. So you can drop that down. Big U-shaped dinette's going to drop down for a sleeper. Double over double bunks. Under this bunk, you do have another spot to put a couple little bit of storage. Or I said, a lot of people are traveling with their best friends, their buddies, their pets. They'll tuck under there and throw a nice little blanket or their bed under there. Huge pantry in this thing. Like I said, sleeping a crew. Bring the food for the weekend, the week, everything right there, especially with the bigger fridge. All that stuff right here in the nice kitchen. Then here's the bathroom coming in from the camper. So a nice big sink. Here's where your hot water is gonna be, your GFCI. Nice corner medicine cabinet. You got a fantastic fan here in the bathroom, which is awesome. Good spot for toilet, and then again, a nice shower with the overhead skylight and then a nice little tub so if you have do have little ones or those small little pets that get into stuff if you want to put them in the bathtub you got a nice little tub right there about six inches deep or so um and then some good storage up under there as well so like i said a lot of great new changes some really small ones but they are really beneficial i think they're great all right so we'll head back into the bedroom uh, we'll put this up on the way, kind of show you how easy it is. Just grab the front, push it up, drop that back. Up here in the bedroom, it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. So Charlie will get on one side, I'll get on the other side. Queen size bed in here, overhead uh, storage. Pop these both open. And then you are, like we like to joke here, you got the hers and hers storage on either side. You got power, you got USB, you got a big inverter on that side. This is if you want. Over here is a speaker, a wireless speaker charger that you would just QR code and kind of purchase through the Driven. Um, so it's its own specialty speaker for that. 
ducted for AC into the bedroom, and then a little more power right kind of either by the door or on the outside. Another one just kind of laying there. Pocket doors on these guys, so these are the slide open. So like I said, you do have to walk around, but each person can get on their side of the bed. You're not crawling over each of your own door. So, and solid doors on here as well. So, um, so again, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'm here at Bullion RV. If you haven't already, you like our videos, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We're building it every day, putting out videos for you guys. If you'd like to work with me, I'm in sales. I'd love to work with you. My number is 218-740-4964. Shoot me a text, shoot me a call. Let me know I can help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.